So I just got done watching Pit B, episode five. And when I tell you, it was very much interesting. Off the bat, off the bat, I already knew everything that happened between Charlie and Jeff and the whole garage was Way's fault. Was Way's fault. Because, you know, Way don't know how to mind his own business. He really doesn't. He has a problem with minding his own business. And so what did he do? He minded someone else's business, was, put, you know, blaming other people, putting falsities onto other people, okay? And then, and then here go, comes Dean piggybacking, talking about, I got evidence. I'm the evidence police, like, 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 way. He must have learned from way. Talking about this, this him, this, this what he was doing, Okay. Talking about, yeah, it's your fault. You, 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 you suspect. You sus. You the one that did it. That's why we had an accident, blah, blah, blah. Like, homeboy didn't just get beat down in the middle of the street with some, with some, with some pipes. Come on now. Your first, your first fault, your first clue to someone that would have done it was Jeff. Not the red racing team, not Tony. Really? Um, okay. See, this is what happens when you don't mind your business. Because Charlie had to come from the hospital. Tell y'all, y'all bunch of boo, y'all bunch of boo liars. Okay? Mind your business. It's my brother from another mother and father. Okay? That's my brother. He, and I got my own evidence since everyone's pulling out evidence. Okay? That's my brother. As you can see, someone else was touching that car. And he he's not like Dina got evidence, you know, he took a video. He you know, he had actual evidence from the security camera. See, this is what happens when you don't when you don't mind your own business. Okay, you think you know everything. You got you out here telling babe that that Charlie and Jeff is doing the nasty when they brothers. See what happens when you don't mind your business? When you don't mind your business. That's why I'm so glad that Way and Pete finally met this episode because Way's been getting on my nerves. And from the preview, he's getting very desperate again because he they in the little hallway or whatever. He's talking about, you really don't know how I feel? It's too late, babes. It's too late because babe, he's finally awakening. He's finally getting enlightened to your foolery, Okay. When he's in the hospital bed, and you told you told him that Charlie and Jeff were brothers, and he looked at you, and you were like, "Well, you know, if he lied about you about this, he'll lie, lie about anything, babe. You already you already lost. You already lost. Okay, you trying you knew you messed up when you told him they were brothers, and you're trying to pull it back. No, babes, no. You 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 messed up. Okay, any kind of leverage you had, you, you messed it up. You messed it up." Okay, you just hold out and wait out for Pete. Okay, that's that's all that's all you got right now. Now let's more move over to to Uncle slash Allen. Uh, he got my, he got he really he really upset me this episode because like you're not going to defend him and then you trying to say it was his fault. You trying to say it was Jeff's fault that all these people are blaming him. Really, what are you going to say? Well, it's your fault. Cause you know you don't you you know you stick to yourself. You don't want to engage nobody. What? Cause he basically he's an invert. So it's his fault. It's his fault that he's being blamed for a crime that he did not commit. Really, really, this is the angle we're going. This is the angle we're going. Really, really. Oh, okay, oh, okay. That's what because that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. Allen, you trying you trying to say the reason why I was trying to blame him for something he did not do. It's because he's an introvert. He likes to stick to himself. He likes to, you know, come to work, do his work, get paid for it, then go home. He's not here for all the kiki ha ha. He don't like to associate with his coworkers outside of work. He barely wants to associate with you at all. Okay, give him very much Capricorn. But hey, hey, hey. That's why he said, I'm going to go home and rest and I'll come back and pack my stuff. And what did he do? He came back the next day in the morning and packed up his shit and left. And he had the audacity to call him, and he put you on a block. Yes, babes. Yes. What do you think was going to happen? What do you What do you think this was? 
really? And then in the preview, you holding up a sign, talking about let's get to know let's get to know each other better, babes. Please, let's not let's not go somewhere else with this. Please go somewhere else with this. I say it every week. I'm gonna say it again this week. Winner and Kim have a lot of chemistry. The tension. The tension is tensioning. When Kim went up in that garage and pinned him up on went on top of that car, I was like, kiss. Kiss him. Pin his arms up on top of the, above his head. Kiss that man. Maybe it's just me, but the tension. The tension and the height difference. Um it's exquisite. I love it. Sensational. Um I'm I'm really not sure when they're going to meet their respective partners. It's, I don't know. We are early in, like, episode five. It's supposed to be, like, what? Like, 13 episodes. I, you know, so I'll give them grace. I'll give them grace. Um, who else? Let's, Charlie and Babe. Look, the beginning episode, before Babe found out that that wasn't, um, you know, Charlie and Jeff are brothers or, brothers or whatever, he was acting like a bitch. Let's be honest. He was acting like a bitch. And I'm like, Charlie better than me, because I would have left him right there. So you talking about get out, get out, get out. I would have left you right here, left you right here in this hospital, okay? It would have been just like out of a diary mad black woman, okay? Her homegirl had, had left her husband with her ex-husband inside the wheelchair, okay? You would have been left right here. Can you talking about get out, get out, get out, and you talking all disrespectful. Mind, mind your words. <laughs> Your temper and your tone. Get it together. Get it together. I'm helping you. I'm helping you. Now you're talking about, now you're going to use all these cute words you wasn't using before. Talking about, you cute, you're lovely, la la la. Look, look, don't be trying to, don't be trying to butter me up now. Because you was being real mean for about two weeks. And now you're horny. And you knew they was, you knew, you knew, you knew, no, you knew Babe was horny. Because they started playing that music in the background. All that. No, no. You you knew. You knew. You knew. Because every time they're about to get it on, they start playing that. Nuh uh. Stop. Just stop it. Stop it. Like, it's cute, but it's like, nah. Char- Charlie was Charlie was falling for it too, too much. He's falling for it too fast. No. No. You gotta. Uh uh-uh. uh. Make him beg. Make him beg. Uh uh-uh. uh. Make him get on his knees with his broken leg. And make him beg. No. No. You being real disrespectful, babe. Being real disrespectful. And then you want to tell us a sob story while we in the, um, we like out in the woods at this, um, restaurant? About how you left the house when you was 18 and you started working for Island? Okay. And, like, don't, I don't know. Babe has to learn better. You can't be trying to be disrespectful and just tell a sob story. No. I don't know if you went to the same school, university, or whatever as Vegas, but that is not going to work. That's not going to fly here, okay? It's not. Now, let's get back on to Dean, because at the end of the episode, they're trying to replace Babe, because they have, like, I guess a competition or whatever coming up. They try to replace him, and they say, okay, we only got away, but, you know, I did, first of all, I did not know that um, the two um, content creators, I did not know that they were race car drivers because we never see them racing. They always on the vlogs, okay? Anyway, they talk, they looking at each other talking about racing. Racing, girl, you got the wrong one. <laughs> and I'm like, I get it, I get it. That's dangerous, that's dangerous. Dean was like, babes, you're, you're looking at them. If they ain't gonna do it, I'll do it my damn self. Okay, so then he getting ready to go out there and then here come babe is like, you already know who I'm about to put out there. My apprentice, Charlie. Like, I don't know why y'all playing in my face right now. Charlie, he's my apprentice. I trained him myself. But I need to stop playing in my face. So then they go ahead this, like, they take too long to do the, the, the race or whatever, because that's what I was looking forward to. And then they're talking about, well, you guys have to be babe. I thought his leg was still messed up. Like, just, he's limping and stuff. Like, what y'all doing? And then in the preview, um, Alan smacked Dean in the face. And I'm like, what's going on? Talking about he banned from the garage for a week. What happened? <laughs> because remember, Dean and Winner are a couple. You know, Winner from the red racing team? Yeah. 